philosophy of science is a subject with a, a very long history. Some people seem to think it appeared early in the 20th century with Karl Popper, but actually it's one of these subjects that's been around at least since the time of the ancient Greeks. Aristotle wrote extensively about the philosophy of science. It deals with quite a lot of different questions. What makes a discipline a science as opposed to an art? What makes a discipline a genuine science as opposed to some kind of pseudoscience? The basic hunch that Popper had was a good one. A, a real science uh, is something that puts itself up for test. It's something that seeks out demanding tests. It doesn't simply gather in all the information that it can in support of the views it puts forward. Instead, it, it tries to expose itself to, to the tribunal of nature in, in the riskiest way possible. Pseudoscience, on the other hand, systematically runs away from test. And that was Popper's basic idea. And you can see through examples, you know, what Popper is trying to get at here. So the obvious kind of case would be to distinguish between, say, astronomy on the one hand, which we think of as a genuine science, and astrology, which many of us think of as pseudoscience. Astronomy says the comet will appear on the following day, at the following time, and then it looks as though if that's not how it works, then so much the worse for the theory, so much the worse for Newton's theory of gravitation, for example. Astrology, on the other hand, seems to systematically offer predictions, but which are stated in the most intolerably vague ways imaginable. So it's very hard to even see what would count as those astrological predictions going wrong. The astrologer saying something uh, along the lines of, um, bad luck may bring disappointment next week. Well, probably next week, we will indeed have some bad luck, and the chances are if you have bad luck, you'll be a bit disappointed. But it's really, really hard to see what would count as, as a refutation or a falsification of that prediction. And so that was sort of Popper's um, highly influential, broad account of the difference between science and pseudoscience.